So today's video, I'm going to be showing you some different methods of mills plates. Welcome back to another Christopher Show Free video or Lego Man Cave. So I have decided with all these videos that I am seeing popping up like this one or this one or this one. I have decided I'm going to try and do my own version. I'm going to take a page out of Ballistic Bricks book and I'm going to show you the cheaper alternative way to actually build these. That includes normals, halves and even road pla base plates. Okay, so you can see on these photos, this is the usual way to actually make or the usual pattern to make a mills plate this is my way so i found the cheaper easier way and it all depends whether you're a purist or whether you don't mind having a few little bits of alternate brand in your collection so things like this one for example you can see the different joints other people will use as you'll see in this photo all the 6x6 or 4x4 plates to do their mills. This one, for example, I have just basically used what I've got available and I've toiled it all over, or plated it all over. These ones, however, you use less bricks. You don't have to use the connectors. I mean, I'd like for these ones to try and clip them together, but some people don't. So Brixie, for example, he doesn't have the Technic pins to hold them together. He just slots them next to each other. Now, once you've done this, for me, I'm going to start with the road base plates. Now, I've got the actual base plates. I haven't got those actual modular plate things like everybody else seems to be jumping on the bandwagon for that's a little bit out of my budget so making the best out of a rubbish situation okay the curb's not as high as some people like to have it i just have it a nice standard but i didn't like all the studs on the side so how did i do it where instead of it being okay there's that you can see the mills above it I put the mills, of course, you can't exactly clip them on. So you just sit it on and then you use these uh, tiles in order to basically hold it into place with the rest. So I'll show you now. So for example, if I put this down here, my ones I like to squeeze into place. All right, so now that that's clipped into place, I can just take my mills and uh, my road plate, sorry, and I'll just place it on top. Now, obviously, I've already had this one attached down, so it just slots into position a lot easier. And obviously, it's a little bit more awkward when you've got all the tiles, but you just push the tiles down, put that back into position, push all the tiles down, and that is now locked in. So if I push this one back again, push all these down. I'll do the rest of the tiles later, but you get my point. The rest of them just basically go across there and it holds it into place. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, so that's how I'm mills plating my road plates. And then obviously once it's all clipped in, you can stick your lampposts wherever you want or need them, then your people, etc. Okay, so there's the road plates. So now you've seen the road plate, you've seen that you can use your many, many plates. The other alternative is you can get these three different ones off AliExpress for dirt cheap. Here are the prices. So for four 16 by 16 plates, again, I use any Technic brick it's all underneath, less bricks, like the two by two bricks or less underneath needed, clips in, solid. Again, I have the Technic pins going all the way around using whatever Technic pins I've got. You don't necessarily have to. Again, with this one, you can even get a 32 by 32 plate. 
that's just one. How much easier to put that one on, okay? But if you don't want to get the one, if you don't want to get the four sixteens, if you don't want to get many, many of the little plates, you've also got a 16 by 32. So again, you know, show you inside quickly. Not a load of bricks, but it is absolutely solid. You know, no flex in it, and it has cost me a fraction of the price. I have got my entire city mills. So, all of these are on a mills. The road plates, base plates, are on a mills. You can tell by the outside here, these are on a mills. The track is not on a mills, and the rock stage corner is not on a mills. But all these are, whether they're 16 by 16, 16 by 32, 32 by 32, or again, a bit of a mix and match. So it depends on the colours. If you're going to tile them over, it doesn't make a difference. You know, I've got 48 by 48 studs. These two are 48 by 48. So if I take this off, so you can see on this one, hopefully, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of my 16 by 16s. And then so two, four, six, eight. So I've got two 8 by 16 green plates because I ran out of the 16 by 16s. But again, so much cheaper, less bricks needed and less plates needed. And of course, if you're going to be tiling over it, if you're going to be putting buildings on it, you're not going to see the Lego stamp anyway. So the only person that's going to know or care whether it is Lego or not, official, is yourself. So if you're going to be covering it over, save yourself some money. If, like me, you're not too bothered, you know, I've got the Avengers Tower. I've got the Palace Theatre, Sanctum Sanctorum, the Daily Bugle. All of these are AliExpress. They look exactly the same and they go together exactly the same as normal Lego. The only difference is it doesn't say Lego on the stamp. Okay, that bit does. I must have used that bit extra. But you see, it doesn't say it. Again, over here, no Lego on the stamps. But you ain't going to know any different unless I tell you, or unless you're looking at it close up. So why should the base plates be any different? So that is my method to turn these flimsy 32 by 32 or 16 by 32, or even just a standard 16 by 16 plate into a solid mills for a hell of a lot cheaper than you would if you went for all the many, many two by two bricks you go for all the techniques if you go for all the plates it works out a hell of a lot cheaper i think as you're seen in the photos earlier 16 by 16 plate there are four of them that's what 90p 99 say a pound each because i'm in the uk so a pound each so that's four quid just for that how much is it going to cost you to get was it 64 six by six or four by four plates or whatever it is how much is it going to cost for all the extra bricks to put them smaller plates on? And these, as I say, these are absolutely solid. I am a six foot three fat ass git and I can stand on these to clip them all together and there's no damage, there's no give, there's no leeway and it is absolutely perfect. So if I can stand on them, I'm sure all these buildings will sit on them absolutely perfect. Again, people like Coco Bricks, I've took a couple of snapshots from here just for an example of obviously how people are doing the plates and all the bricks you, you don't need to do all that if unless you're a purist and you have to do that then you've got the money to do so crack on if like me like ballistic bricks uh other people like that like you know it, it just works out so much cheaper i love watching bricksy i love watching block party but again I haven't got that kind of financial backing to go for the pure Lego. I would love to go pure Lego. Pure Lego is always a hell of a lot better. I'm never going to say otherwise. But when needs must and you can't afford the real deal, make the best of what you can afford. 
Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.